Question 23. This is a test on exponents and logarithms. I'd like you to copy and do this question yourself. You have already done similar kind before, right? So it should not be that difficult. Question 23 is draw a sketch of a transformed function y equals to log to the base 2 of square root x divided by 8 accurate to 3 points. Now whenever we draw a sketch of logarithm function, we normally take three points and the vertical asymptote, right? So that is the base uh, for a sketch on logarithm functions. So let's first simplify this equation. So we have y equals to log 2 of, so, so this is like division. So we can write this as log 2 of x minus log 2 of 8, correct? Now this is x to the power of half, right? So we can write this as log 2 of x to the power of half minus log 2 of 2 cubed, right? So that is equal to half of log 2 of x minus, so this is 3, right? 3. So that is your function equation and from here you can see that the transformation is that there's vertical compression by a factor of half and vertical translation three units down. So that is the transformation, right? Now, let's write it down, these two transformations. So we have two transformations here from as compared to the original function log 2x. So one is vertical compression by factor of half and second is vertical translation, right? Three units down. Now, to plot this graph, what we should do is we can take some critical points and then sketch a graph. So, or we can follow the steps like we can sketch log 2x graph and then do vertical compression by a factor of half and move it three units down. So that is another way of doing it, right? So either way. So I'll prefer in this particular example to take some values and then sketch it, right? So, so what we will do is we'll make a table of values and we'll write this particular equation, we'll take some values of x and we'll have half of log 2x minus 3, correct? Now, what good value should you take on this? So, you know, log of 1 is always 0, right? So, that is always the best value to take. So, let's take x as equals to 1. In that case, log of 1 is 0, we get minus 3, correct? The other good value is, since this is base 2, this is base 2, see the other good value is 2 itself, because log 2 of 2 will be 1, so we can take 2 as the value, so in that case this is half minus 3, which is minus 2 and a half, right, or let me write 2.5. Now since it is base 2, even 4 is a good value, because 2 to the power of 2 is 4, correct? So x equals to 4 is a good value to take. So 2 to the power of 2 is 4. So it is 2 and 2 times half is 1. So we get 1 minus 3 as minus 2. So since we need accurate to 3 points, these are very good points to take, right? And we know vertical asymptote is at x equals to 0, right? So x equals to 0 is actually a vertical asymptote, correct? So we got a vertical asymptote and all these points. So let's try to sketch this graph. Well, since it has been moved down three units, so we'll concentrate more on the portion of negative y, correct? So, so first thing is, our y-axis is the vertical asymptote for this, right? So we'll have this as the vertical asymptote. So that is the vertical asymptote at x equals to zero, right? 
So that is a vertical asymptote. And then a different points which we have taken as 1, 2 and 4, correct? And at these points, the y values are minus 3, minus 2.5 and minus 2. So let's take this as 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 unit and 4 unit, right? So let's just have 1 and 2. And on x-axis, let's take this as 1, 2, 3 and 4, correct? So for 1, we get minus 3. So this is minus 1. So minus 3 will be here, correct? So we get 1 point is here, minus 3. At 2, it is minus 2.5. So this is 2. 2.5 will be kind of here, right? At 4, it is minus 2. So minus 2 at 4, kind of here. Do you see that? So that is how our graph is moving. And we can connect these points to get a graph. So the graph will be kind of like this. That seems to be the vertical asymptote and kind of like this, right? So that is how our graph is going to look for this particular function, correct? And these are the three points which give us the accuracy, correct? So that is how this graph is going to look. Thank you.